As Islamic State loses ground in Syria and Iraq, it's intensifying its efforts in Libya. The jihadist growing presence there sparked concerns now among U.S. intelligence officials. Libya is a place where this could happen in the near term. ISIS controls territory in Libya. They are currently expanding that territory, and foreign fighters are beginning to go to Libya to fight with the ISIS group there. I would not be surprised if we woke up one morning and ISIS in Libya had grabbed a large part of Libyan territory. The Islamic State has been trying to find a way to replace the revenue stream, not just been the loss of Syrian and the Iraqi oil, which has been of concern to Daesh. Uh, Daesh has lost a lot of the viability of its actual geography, of the land which it holds. So sooner or later it's going to have to find a, a new homeland, and I think it sees an opportunity to have that homeland in Libya. Islamic State's main stronghold in Libya is in the Mediterranean city of Sirte, just a few hundred kilometres indeed from Europe's southern frontier. The number of militants in that city surged over the past year and they're now pushing for control of lucrative oil fields and cities along the coast. The Libyan army's been sent to guard the country's largest oil field, that's southeast of Sirte. Take a look at these uh, satellite images. You can see a trail of smoke. That's after an oil storage facility came under attack from Islamic State. Huge fires burning there. The terror group has stepped up assaults on energy and security targets across Libya since the start of the year. Where Islamic State does take hold, it's quick to enforce its own laws too. This video shows Sharia police known as Hizbar patrolling the streets of Sirte. Last month, ISIL executed two people in that city after they're accused of practicing magic. Libya's been in a state of chaos now since the NATO intervention and uprising back in 2011, which in turn brought down Muammar Gaddafi. The editor of the Pan-African Newswire says the ongoing power struggle in Libya is going to make it difficult to stop ISIL's advance too. Many of their fighters uh, have fled uh, areas that have been under intense uh, bombardment as well as uh, ground operations in both Syria as well as Iraq. Uh, so they have relocated uh, in CERT, uh, which is uh, a very important uh, coastal uh, Mediterranean uh, city, the hometown of the late uh, Muammar Gaddafi. And they are now attempting to take over other areas along a 300-kilometer uh, coast uh, on the Mediterranean. Uh, they're also threatening uh, other uh, oil fields. Uh, there are hundreds of other militias. There are many different forces that are operating on the ground in Libya. And as a result of that, uh, it's going to be very complicated in their attempts to beat back the Islamic State.